Austrian wine, Wikipedia article audio. Austrian wines are mostly dry white wines, though some sweeter white wines are also produced. About 30% of the wines are red, made from Blaufrankis, Pinot Noir, and locally bred varieties such as Zweigelt. 4,000 years of winemaking history counted for little after the antifreeze scandal of 1985, when it was revealed that some wine brokers had been adulterating their wines with diethylene glycol. The scandal destroyed the market for Austrian wine and compelled Austria to tackle low standards of bulk wine production, and reposition itself as a producer of quality wines. The country is also home to Rydell makers of some of the most expensive wine glasses in the world. Some of the best producers of Austria include Wingert FX, Pickler and Wingert Franz Hertzberger, Wingert Hutter, Wingert Eichel and Wellenskitz. There is archaeological evidence of grape growing in trays until 4,000 years ago. Grape seeds have been found in urns dating back to 700 BC in Zagersdorf, whilst bronze wine flagons of the Celtic Latin culture dating to the 5th century BC have been found at Dürnberg in Salzburg state. Viticulture thrived under the Romans, once Marcus Aurelius Probus had overturned the ban on growing grapes north of the Alps. Both Gruner Veltliner and Welsh Riesling appear to have been grown around the Danube since Roman times. History Grape Varieties Viticulture suffered with the invasions of Bavarians, Slavs, and Avars after the fall of the Roman Empire, but from 788 the rule of Charlemagne saw considerable reconstruction of vineyards and introduction of new grape presses. Once Otto the Great had seen off the threat from Magyar incursions in 955, Austrian viticulture was nurtured by the church and encouraged among the populace at large. The first vineyard names recorded are Kremser Sandgrub in 1208, and Steiner Pfaffenberg in 1230. Rudolf IV introduced the first wine tax, Ungelt, in 1359, as Vienna established itself as a center for wine trading on the Danube. The wine business boomed in the 16th century, but the Thirty Years' War and others of the 17th century took their toll, as much due to the heavy taxation of the period as the direct disruption of war. Various drink taxes were unified in 1780 as part of a drive by Maria Theresa and Joseph II to encourage viticulture. An imperial decree of August 17, 1784 gave birth to the distinctive Austrian tradition of inns called Heurigen. Derived from the German for new wine, the decree allowed all winemakers to sell homegrown food with their wine all year round. Fir trees hung above the door alerted customers to the arrival of the new season's wine. The 19th century saw the arrival of all sorts of biological invaders. First there was powdery mildew and downy mildew. One response to these fungal diseases from North America was the founding in 1860 of what became the Federal Institute for Viticulture and Pomology at Kloster Newburgh. Then the phylloxera root aphid arrived in 1872 and wiped out most of the vineyards of Central Europe. Although it took several decades for the industry to recover, it allowed lower quality grapes to be replaced with better varieties, particularly Gruner Veltliner. After World War I, Austria was the third biggest wine producer in the world much being exported in bulk for blending with wine from Germany and other countries. However that intensification of viticulture sowed the seeds of its own destruction. During the 20th century Austrian wine became a high-volume, industrialist business, with much of it being sold in bulk to Germany. 
A run of favorable years in the early 1980s saw massive yields of wines that were light, dilute, and acidic, that nobody wanted. Wine brokers discovered that these wines could be made saleable by the addition of a little diethylene glycol, more commonly found in antifreeze, which imparted sweetness and body to the wine. The adulteration was difficult to detect chemically the antifreeze scandal broke when one of them tried to claim for the cost of the chemical on his tax return. Although the amounts of glycol were less dangerous than the alcohol in the wine, and only a few middlemen were involved, exports collapsed and some countries banned Austrian wine altogether. The antifreeze jokes persist but in fact the scandal was the savior of the industry in Austria. Strict new regulations restricted yields among other things, producers moved towards more red wine and a dry style of white wine that was what the 1990s market would demand, and the middlemen went bust forcing producers to sell direct and encouraging the expression of local terroir. Perhaps most importantly, there was a massive change in the culture of wine production in Austria towards an emphasis on quality, as opposed to the low standards that permitted the scandal to happen in the first place. The Austrian Wine Marketing Board was created in 1986 as a response to the scandal, and Austria's membership of the European Union has prompted further revisions of her wine laws notably the new DAC system of geographical appellations launched in 2002. Today Austria lies 16th in the list of wine-producing countries by volume, but the wines are now of a quality that can take on and beat the best in the world. Classification As can be seen from the table, Gruner Veltliner is the dominant white grape in Austria producing generally dry wines ranging from short-lived Heuriger wines to Spätlises capable of long life. The ancient Welsh Riesling variety is used in the noble rot dessert wines of the New Siedler Sea, it also makes undistinguished dry wines for drinking young, as does Mullerthagau. Neuburger was supposedly found as flotsam in the Danube in the 1850s, but is now known to be a cross between Sylvaner and the ancient Ruter Veltliner. Fruiter Veltliner is also known as Malvasir, suggesting a link to the Malvasia grape family of the eastern Mediterranean. Muscat Audinel is used in dessert wines from the New Siedler Sea, as is Bouvier, which is related to the Muscat family and is a parent of the Ormuz grape used in Tokaji. There were high hopes for Goldberger, a cross between Welsh Riesling and Orange Traub bred in Kloster Newburg, but after an initial wave of planting, enthusiasm has dimmed. Zierfandler and Rotgapfler are local grapes of the Thurmen region, and are often blended together as Spatrot Rotgapfler. It is worth noting that Pinot Gris is known as Rulander in Austria, and sometimes as Graubagunda. Pinot Blanc is known as Weisburgunder or Weisbegunda, and Sauvignon Blanc is called Muscat Sylvaner. Riesling plays a much smaller role than in Germany, but the relatively small amount grown is used for some of Austria's most appreciated dry white wines. Zweigelt and Blauberger were bred at Kloster Neuburg in the 1920s and now account for nearly half of Austria's red wine. The former can be made into powerful wines for aging, the latter is easier to grow and is generally blended, both are also made into a lighter style for drinking young. National Classification Blaufrankis and Blauer Portuguese are the traditional red grapes of the region, being part of the blend of Hungary's Egri by Caver. The former is the more serious variety. Blauer Portuguese produces fresh, fruity red wines for drinking young. Saint Laurent came from France in the mid 19th century, and seems to have substantial Pinot Noir parentage. Saint Laurent has a reputation for being problematic to grow, but can produce good quality wine. 
Blauer Wildbacher is probably an indigenous wild grape variety, used to make a cult rose called Skilcher in western Styria. Rosseler is the latest variety to be bred at Kloster Neuburg. Since joining the EU the Austrians have made real efforts to improve matters. At present there are three systems the traditional system based on the German scheme, a different classification used only in the Wacha, and a new system of regional appellations called DACs that is being trialed in the Weinviertel. The existing system was based on the German system during World War II, but was modified after 1985. It is based on the Kloster Neuberger Most Wage, which measures the sugar content of the grapes at harvest in a way similar to the Oxl scale, where 1 degree KMW is 5 degree OE. Wacha Classification the Avenia Wacha Nobilis Dis Tirictus has three categories, all for dry wines. Dis Tirictus Austrii Control Lattice Dis Tirictus Austrii Control Lattice, Latin for Controlled District of Austria, is the new geographical appellation, similar to the French AOC or the Italian DOCG. Regional wine committees award the DAC to wines typical of their region. There are now 10 DACs. Wine Regions In 2005 Austria had 51,213 hectares of vineyard, almost all of it in the east of the country. Of these 31,425 HA are in the state of Niederösterreich and 15,386 HA in Bogenland which together make up Wineland Österreich. Steiermark accounts for 3,749 HA, Wien 621 HA and there are 32 HA in the Austrian mountains, which covers the rest of the country. The four main wine regions are split into 16 districts. This narrow valley of the Danube around Melk is reminiscent of the great wine areas of the Rhine, with steep terraces that produce world-class Gruner Veltliner and Riesling wines. Climatically and geologically it marks the transition from the Alps to the Hungarian plains, leading to a diverse array of microclimates and terroir with the river moderating the effects of the cold alpine wines. As mentioned above, the Venia Wacha Nobilis Dis Tirictus still clings to its own classification of Steinfetter, Federspiel, and Smeragd, reserved for wines that are made 100% from Wacha grapes. Lower Austria Downstream of the Wacha lies the Kremstel region, centered on the town of Krems. The valley opens out a little, the climate is a little warmer allowing more red wine to be produced, but otherwise Kremstel is quite similar to the Wacha. To the north of Krems lies Langen Lois, which is the main town of Kamptel, the valley of the river Kamp. The sandstone slopes are so steep that only a thin layer of soil is retained and exposure to the sun is high. Riesling thrives on these steep slopes, closer to the Danube the valley broadens and more red grapes are grown. To the south of Krems lies Herzogenberg, at the center of Tres Entel, which was only designated as a wine district in 1995. Mostly Gruner Veltliner is grown here, which is made into a fresh style for drinking young. Between Krems and Vienna lies the Dona Uland, which covers two very different areas. North of the Danube is the plateau of Vagram, where the Gruner Veltliner is a bit more full-bodied and aromatic, and Ritter Veltliner is something of a local speciality. Blauer's Weigelt and Pinot Noir wines are also made here, as well as a little ice wine. Further downstream, just outside Vienna lies Kloster Neuburg. As the biggest private wine estate in the country, the Abbey has played a formative role in Austrian wine for the last 900 years. 
The Federal Institute for Viticulture and Pomology was the world's first college of viticulture and continues to play an important part in the development of wine in Austria. Watcha The wine Viertel lies in the northeast corner of Austria, between the Danube and the Czech and Slovak borders. The biggest single wine region in Austria is home to half the Gruner Veltliner in the country, and considerable amounts of Welsh Riesling, but most of Austria's varieties can be found here. Even sparkling wine is made from Riesling and Gruner Veltliner in the far northeast around Poisdorf. Kremstel the deep soils between Vienna and the New Siedler Sea are rapidly establishing a reputation for well-balanced red wines made from Zweigelt and Blaufrankis. Being close to Vienna and full of history, the area is a popular area to visit. Tafel wine, 10.7 degree KMW, can come from more than one region, land wine, 14 degree KMW greater than 17 g slash liter dry extract, 15 degree KMW, 9% alcohol. Comes from a single wine district, cabinet, 17 degree KMW qualitatsian with no shaptolization, residual sugar 19 degree KMW, wine not released until March 1st after harvest, Auslaza. 21 degree KMW, bad grapes removed, Birinos Lace, 25 degree KMW, bad grapes removed, Osbruch, 27 degree KMW, Batridist grapes, grape juice, or late harvest wine may be added to assist the pressing operation, Trocken Birinos 30 degree KMW, completely Batridist grapes, Eyes wine, 25 degree KMW, further concentrated by being harvested and pressed when frozen, Stroh wine or Skilf win, 25 degree KMW, made from grapes dried on straw mats. The Spa region south of Vienna saw two wine regions, Gumpoldskirchen and Bad Voslaw, merged in 1985. Climatically similar to Burgundy, with a wide variation in soils, all kinds of grape varieties are made here, many being made into Hurigen wines. Perhaps the most interesting wines are the Spatratrotgupflers, made from a blend of the local varieties Zierfandler and Rotgupfler, both of which are white grapes despite their names. The east side of the New Siedler Sea is also known as Siuinkel, corner of the lake. The shallow New Siedler Sea is one of the few places on earth where noble rod attacks grapes reliably every year. This means that Batridis dessert wines can be made more easily, and hence sold more cheaply, than in other areas famous for this style of wine. Increasingly, Red wine is also being made in this region. Steinfetter, maximum 11.5% alcohol, mostly for local quaffing, Fetterspiel, 11.5% to 12.5% alcohol and a minimum must weight of 17 degrees KMW, roughly equivalent to Cabinet, Smeragd, minimum 12.5% alcohol with a maximum 9g slash liter residual sugar, some of the best dry whites in Austria. The hill country to the west of the lake offers a diversity of terrain that is reflected in the number of grape varieties and styles of wine made here. Perhaps the most famous is the Ruster Osbruch dessert wine from the western shore of the lake. Camptal Tres Entel Vagram Wine Viertel The Mittelbogenland is a southern continuation of the forested hills to the west of the New Siedler Sea. The nickname Blaufrankischland reflects the dominant variety here, which is the subject of the only red wine DAC and can be very good, the Bordeaux varieties also do well here. 
the most famous vineyard of the South Bogenland, Eisenberg reflects the red, iron-rich soil which imparts a distinct spiciness to the Blaufrankis grown here. A speciality here is a Hudler wine, made from hybrids with North American species such as Isabella, Concord, Delaware, Noah, Elvira, and Ripadella, which was banned for a while after the 1985 scandal. There are 621 Ha of vineyards within the city limits of the Austrian capital. Vines were grown within the city walls of Vienna in the Middle Ages, although they have now been pushed into the outskirts. Riesling, Chardonnay, and Pinot Blanc are grown on the limestone soils towards Kloster Neuburg, whereas red grapes do better on the rich soil to the south of the city. Field blends known as Gemischter Sats are common here, and most wine is drunk young in the city's Hurigen. Under a 2002 amendment to the wine laws, Steirland replaced Steiermark as the name for Styria on wine. The many extinct volcanoes east of Graz give a rich soil which imparts a spiciness to the variety of grapes grown in southeast Styria. The climate is a little cooler here, especially at night, giving a long growing season resulting in wines that are crisp, aromatic, and full-bodied. 1300 hectares of vineyards are cultivated all located around Cloche. Sankt Anna am Agen and Straden and situated primarily on the slopes of the extinct volcanoes which characterize the landscape. Some vineyards are up to 650 m above sea level. The main grape varieties grown in this region are Welsh Riesling, Chardonnay, Weisbergunder and Graubagunda, Gelber Muscateller, the Traminer family, Sauvignon Blanc, and Riesling. Red wines features Weigelt as well as other grapes, including St. Laurent or Blaubagunda. Carnuntum Viticulture is generally a part-time job for wine growers, their produce is sold mainly in the numerous Hurigen. Sudste Iermark, near the Slovenian border, is mainly Sauvignon Blanc country however. The 1,950 hectares of vineyards also include Welsh Riesling, Marillan, Muscateller and Traminer. Soil types include sandstone, shale, clay, and shelly limestone. The combination of warm days and cool nights gives a long growing season, resulting in crisp, aromatic, and full-bodied wines. Thurman Region Bogenland Neusiedler Sea The warm humid climate and steep hills make this one of the toughest places in Austria to be a vigneron. Southwest of Graz lie ancient vineyards which mainly produce a cult rose called Skilcher. Made from the indigenous Blauer wild Bacher grape, genuine Skilcher carries a mark with a white horse, after the Lipitzaners bred in Piber for the Spanish Riding School in Vienna. Neusiedler C. Hugeland Mittelbegenland Sudberjongland Vienna Styria Sudoststeier Mark Sudsteier Mark Veststeier Mark, Mark.